Hi, my name's Sue Ellum and I'm a tarot reader and I have been for about 25 years now. Um, and I use a mythic tarot, which are based on Greek mythology. And I'm Carrie Bellino, 20 plus years for me as well. I am an intuitive Reiki master teacher and a spiritual life coach. So I have the questions. Hopefully what it will be uh, like what it will be today. <laughs> there's a lot of them. Like there's a lot. So, <laughs> so, that, so that'll it's keep so us going for a week or two. <laughs> I think it's so funny because people will say, like, I needed to hear that today. And literally they have no idea that it was pulled out of 60 tabs. Oh, okay, this is the one. It fell on my computer. Huh? So someone needs this one today. What is my life purpose? Whoa. <laughs> Question of the century. Yeah. There's a very good book I've got uh, by Dan Millman. Um, and now I'm in the middle of it and I can't remember. The, it's, a, it's about your life purpose, but it's, it's, um, it's to do with numerology. Hmm. It's really, it's really interesting. Oh. I'll find it. Yeah. Dan Millman? Yeah. But I, I, I've used it for many years and it was absolutely spot on. Is it the Peaceful Warrior's Way? No, no. It's, um, it's got something about life. Um, the life you were born to live? That's the one. That's the one. Okay. Yeah. Andy Google. Very good. <clears throat> I say it's all based on numerology. Okay, what is <clears throat> the life purpose? This is really interesting because remember yesterday's. We start with it's the same card, card. Again. <laughs> again, and I shuffled and shuffled and shuffled, and I split the cards. And anyway, so maybe go back and watch yesterday's if you haven't already. Yeah, <laughs> that's about beating yourself up. That one. Okay, this your life purpose is to learn from the material things. We're living in a material world, and we get taken off course when we spend three weeks upset because the car broke down and it shouldn't have broken down it was under warranty or we haven't got any money therefore i can't do anything because i haven't got any money so until the money comes i'm on hold um or i'm not getting on with my spouse or i'm not getting on with my children or my mother-in-law is driving me mad or whatever it is we get so tied up with the minutia of everyday life that we can't find our life purpose because all our time is spent with the day-to-day -day stuff. And the people that can actually get out and find their life purpose are the ones that accept this is day-to-day -day stuff and not to give it as much importance because, you know, some people, they, they, they build their lives around the problems. Um, and so they get kind of um, shoot themselves in the foot. We want to find our life purpose. We need to start making plans. We need to decide where do I want to be in three months? Where do I want to be in six months time? What kind of level of knowledge do I want? Um, in, it's, I find it's interesting. I kind of watch, I like watching Kind of YouTube channels and different things, and I find that there's certain ones that I watch for a little while, and I'm really into them, and then I kind of it, it passes, and then I'm into something else, and then there's other there's other things, and then I find that I am just really drawn to certain certain things it's like i i i love um kind of animals and animal rescues and things like that 
And I find that I'm more drawn to watching the uh, rescue of cats and dogs than I am to many other things. It's just a natural draw for me. Though I, I do watch other videos, but as soon as that comes up, I watch it immediately. Um, and I want to do a plug here for, you know, I don't normally do this, but there's an organization in LA called Hope for Paws, and they do some wonderful work. So um, if anyone wants to check them out, you know, based on, on animal rescue. So anyway, besides that, they're not paying me, by the way. <laughs> um, this is about making plans for the future, but just but make them kind of um, flexible. Don't, don't carve them in stone because then when you do that, then if any material problems come up, you're more likely to think, oh, well, I was going to do this today and then, then I couldn't do this. And then again, you get stuck. So be flexible with it. Be prepared to change the goals as they go along. Be prepared just to go to what you're drawn to and then you will find you're on the way to finding out what your life purpose is, what, what lights your fire. Um, but you do need to build some structure because if you don't build structure, you find yourself kind of getting hit from all kind of different angles. It's like, you know, if you haven't got an anchor, then the winds of life can batter, batter you all over the place and take you really off course. But if you have this anchor, which are the, are the goals you've set, then you've still you've got something to come back to, something that keeps you in the kind of more or less the right location. It just doesn't take you miles out your way. And then we have the end of an era. It's a completion. It's like I've been to school. I've done my lessons. I've passed my exams. I know what draws me. What I didn't realize I would be so attracted to this, and I didn't realize that. Oh, if I hadn't seen that, I didn't even know that existed. But by opening your mind then you're going to be drawn to what you're meant to be doing. So it's not something like, um, I really like, I quite like making Sunday lunch. I think it's my life, my life purpose to become a celebrity chef. It, that, that is your mind going in the way. But in actual fact, you like cooking Sunday lunch, but your life purpose might be, might be to start an organic farmer, <laughs> an organic farm. You, so take your minds out of it um, and go by what your heart is telling you, what your, your soul is directing you towards. And the things that um, are meant for you will stick with you um, and you will continue going in that direction and expanding and learning more. And it will be a natural process. I think, um, I think as at the kind of current time as well, people are scrambling to find their life purpose. And, um, you know, it, it comes, you know, it, it, won't, it won't pass you by because that's what you're here for. It, it's just waiting for you to let go of all the mundane stuff. So you're a clear enough channel to receive the message. But once you're all kind of tied up with stuff, um, this is, again, chaos. Um, and this is, again, the danger of you start something new and then everything you you yourself throw everything up in the air. You want to know how it's happening. You're too, it's being too busy. It's being so busy trying to make, make your life purpose happen. You know, you've got so far with it and you've, you've kind of come into the next stage, but you still might not have learned the lesson of being quiet, waiting for the life purpose to come to you rather than you having to to actively search for it. So this is chaos that you can cause by thinking, oh, well, it's taking too long. Heavens above, I've been sitting quietly for a month. What do, you know, it hasn't come, I must, I must have to do something. I must have to do something. And then, and then it's like, oh, you're, you're too exhausted again. And your night life purpose might be knocking on the door, but you were too busy to see it or hear the knock. When you've calmed down, when you've got to the point you think, oh, I can't cope with this anymore. I really have come to the end of my tether. I'm exhausted. I've done so much. I've tried so hard. I've, I've 
you know, I've rearranged the furniture so many times in my life. I've, I've got so tied in with all the mundane stuff and, and all this stuff, and I'm absolutely exhausted. That is the time when you surrender, when you give up, that spiritual help comes and says, okay, now you have given us time to come in, and now we can help you. Now we will take away the stuff that's no longer for you and it's burdening you. And now you can get on with the actual life purpose. And at that point, there'll be peace and tranquility. And knowing that your dream's about to come through to fruition and you will just know where your heart lies. But you have to give up the struggle first. You have to give up the intellectual searching because that's not where your life purpose is. Your life purpose is inside, in your heart, in your soul, and to the things you're drawn to. And we have so many, so many examples on YouTube. There's, there's one example. We've got so many books, you know, out there. Just pick up things, see where it lands, see if it, it, it draws you. But at the end of the day, stop the struggle, find your life purpose, and those are the cards. Well said, well said. So I get this question a lot with my clients um, who come to see me for one-on-one -on -one sessions. And the life purpose is not, mm, they tend to be afraid that they're going to choose the wrong life purpose or they won't see it clearly or they'll miss it or they'll try it and it won't be right and they will have made a mistake. That's not what life purpose is about. The other day, I had way too much free time on my hands and I counted 26 jobs and or offices I have held. Actually, I just thought of one more. 27 over my lifetime and many of them at least half, if not more, I really felt were my life purpose. This is what I meant to do. This is where I meant to be. And that is indeed true. We are meant to be in these places. If we choose them with purpose, with heart, or if they choose us and it resonates with us, then they are indeed our life purpose. But Hopefully, you are evolving. Hopefully, you are growing. Hopefully, you are reflecting and changing. And in that case, that purpose is going to morph and change along with you. So, it wouldn't be surprising at all if you have multiple life purposes because the purpose in it is for you to follow what your heart is telling you and to be where your light is most needed and to meet or reach or touch the people you are meant to to be with in those moments in for in that period of time in that job experience and then it expires it expires otherwise and you know if you're feeling stagnant in your job right now if you are feeling like it's a dead end if you are feeling fed up with the people that you are working with then this portion of your life purpose has closed and it's time to look for the new because even though you may have gotten your degree or this is the job that you've worked for, that doesn't mean this place is it for you right now. And believe me, I have two master's degrees. I understand finding that place but it may just be for a snapshot in time, or you may just use that information or that degree to build upon your, for your next ladder, your next ladder rung, whatever that looks like, your next experience. So humanity has typically had this giant polarity. We do have a giant polarity. There's the drama and trauma, and there's the bliss. And there's a giant polarity between those two things. And typically, 
we love or try or fall into experiencing the drama and the trauma so that we can raise ourselves out, like you said in the last um, episode, raise yourself up by the bootstraps and get to that closer place of joy. And what I'm coaching my, my clients on is to not get so far down into the drama and the trauma in order to propel you into the joy. It's time to take a look at your heart and what you're feeling, discontentment, impatience, frustration, something that's not quite as traumatic as trauma, like being fired and or having your place um, close and work from that center point. Where would I find joy? Where would I find contentment in the moment? And like Sue said, be flexible because it can and should change as you do, as you change. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, things, because as we evolve, it's, it's like going through school, you know, you get, you go to, um, you get to university, you're not going to be on the, doing the same things as when you were in kindergarten. You know, it's, yeah, exactly. that's it. So, now you know. Now you know. What is my life purpose. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay. It's bye from me. And please subscribe and share as always. If this was meaningful to you, it helps to have um, more people come on board with us. So we'll see you, you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.